And David made this statement. That is when he makes this statement. I am this day weak, yet still anointed king. Did you know that it's possible to be weak and still be anointed king? The Bible declares the royal priesthood of the believer. The Bible said in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, that we are a royal priesthood. Those of us who have put our faith in Jesus Christ, we are a royal priesthood. The Bible said in Ephesians 2 and 6 that we sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are a royal priesthood. The Bible said in Revelation 1 and verse 6 that he has raised us to be kings and priests in his kingdom. God says and declares that the Christian is an anointed king. But notice that it's possible that God's people can be weak and still be anointed. They can be weak and still have royal blood in their veins. They can be weak and still have the authority of the kingdom. And what a contrast. Weakness and divine anointing stand together. I'm telling you today that the Bible is full of people with little faith, with ready to quit kind of faith, despondent people, much afraid people. They were anointed people, but they were weak on particular days. And God didn't cast them away and God didn't give up on them. Notice when David became weak. He felt his weakness because he was in a new position. He felt his weakness because he was about to take over the nation of Israel. And when he faced something and had an opportunity like he never had in a new place, in a new position, he said, I am weak this day. When I look at the responsibility, when I look at the opportunity, when I look at this new place and this new position and I see this situation, I feel so inadequate that I am weak this day though I'm anointed to do this thing. You know, whenever you make a change in life, whenever you're given a new set of duties or a new challenge or a new place or a new position, your flesh and your own mind will say, you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You can't do this. You're too weak. On the eve of your greatest triumph, the enemy will always come and try to make you feel like you're a nobody and a nothing. But I want to remind you that this story says that it's possible for us to be two things at the same time. I'm about to preach because I feel this. I'm telling you it's possible to be weak. It's possible to feel overwhelmed, outnumbered, out-resourced. It's possible to feel discouraged. It's possible to be going through something that you've never gone through. And you, if you were to be honest, would say, I am weak this day, yet I'm still anointed king. I still reign with Christ Jesus. The kingdom of God is one of opposites. It's possible in the kingdom that you can be poor and yet rich. The man who lives in a mud hut is more wealthy than the Fortune 500 companies. It's possible to have joy in the midst of sorrow. It's possible to have peace in the middle of the storm. The opposite of big is small, somebody would say. The opposite of tall is short. The opposite of hot is cold, somebody would say. And you can't have cold and hot at the same time. You can't have big and small. You can't have tall and short at the same time. But in 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 10, Paul said, I take pleasure in my weaknesses, my infirmities, my reproaches, my necessities, my persecutions. For Christ's sake, watch this, for when I am weak, Right then, not when I get out of this valley, not when I get over this trial, not when I come out on the other side, for when I am weak, then, he puts the time on it, when I am weak, David said, I am this day weak, then am I strong, yet I'm anointed. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence